Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jazer. In this video, I'm going to take a look at the advanced types of TypeScript. Uh, this one is uh, has a lot of content, so it might be separated into several videos. So uh, this is the first one. Okay, let's begin. The first one is type guards and differentiating types. Let's jump into the example here. So we have a function with a pet. It might be a fish or it might be a bird. So if swim is in this pet, the pet could could call swim. So TypeScript is canary enough that uh, if this is true, then it should be pet, not the bird, right? And we cannot call fly directly because tap, uh, the fly doesn't exist in fish. Well, this is pretty obvious. If you want to get the same code working, we we could write something like this pet, mm -hmm. and then we create a fish version of this pet. Suppose it is fish, and suppose it is a bird, and then if it fish swim, this is use as keyword, right, to, to ca cast the type, okay, and then we call swim, not we call fly. Uh, this is uh, pretty, uh, obviously, it's meaningless, right? Uh, let's see the compiled code to JavaScript, uh, okay, pad, and we create a new fish pad, bird pad, swim, swim, and else fly. Obviously, the previous one is much better. Um, it would say swim, swim. Cool. Okay, so this is not the code we want. And to solve this problem, we could... Uh, the first one is that actually we could add use the uh, discriminative union type, right? Uh, what it is? Uh, yeah, 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 it is discriminating union type uh, let's uh, review it is should union type and uh, discriminating unions a uh, discriminating unions so we could use a single field let's see here uh, wait a second let's go back okay we could add the type say yeah, we, we should use a literal type here. We could use the string, so it's fish. And type, uh, this is bird. So here, we could say if uh, pet type, because this type existing all the union type, right? And then we could say swim. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. If type is a fish, and then pet swim. And now you see pet is fish. Cool. Rather than this one, if there is no this single field indicating what the subtype it is, we could use this this technique call, called user defined type guards. Custom type guards. Uh, to do this, we define a function, and we turn if it is uh, the subtype. Let's take a look at the code. Okay, so here it says if it is a fish or not. We check if it has swim compiled code is very simple we check if the swim is undefined or not this is the same because we want to we uh, if we want to uh, call swim we need to cast the type from uh, the union type to fish here also it might be fish it might be bird and then this is the function right and beside the return value we not say boolean it's not it's not okay. Okay, let's say if it is uh okay, cast pet equals get a small pet. Mm. If it is a fish and pet dot, you see the pet here is actually still a union type. Rather than the boolean, we should say uh, pet is a uh, fish. And then pet becomes a fish now. So, so this is something uh, specific for the TypeScript. Tap pet is. And then if we say if fish, and then it's, uh, uh, it's a fish. In the other cases, uh, TypeScript is clever enough. Uh, there are only two type, right? A fish or bird. And then if it's not a fish, then it should be a bird. So we can fly. Okay, so this is it. This is uh, sometimes useful when you have, uh, when you have some arbitrary data. From the API, which doesn't have the uh, the single uh, common field across all the subtypes. Okay, type of. 
um, yeah, it just means that uh, the the TypeScript TypeScript is clever enough to see uh, the basic types if you use TypeOf. Okay, are the primitives? Uh huh. Including undefined number, string, boolean, begin, symbol, object, and a function. So if say we have the padding, you have a string or number. We could use type type of padding. If it is number, you see that it's number. Uh, if it is type of string, then it should be a string. So for primitive types, this is uh we 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 could just we could omit writing this boilerplate code. An instance of for those uh, class instances. Uh, here's an example. Wow. Uh, this is the cleverness, also the cleverness of the TypeScript. We have this get a random pattern. Uh, it have two space repeating pattern and a string pattern. It might be any of them. So the type of this return, this type returns a uh, union type. And so this pattern actually could be any either one of them. And we could call instance of. This is like the type of uh, for the uh, uh, object, right? If this pattern, then pattern is you see this space repeating pattern, yeah, instance of. Uh, you could could think of this instance of like an enhanced version of the uh, discriminating union, right? When you're calling instance of, it actually checks the constructor of this object. So for each all these objects, they have this uh, constructor uh, function. So we could use that to uh, discriminate the uh, unions. Cool. And then nullable. Um, I think in nowadays everyone should would prefer the strict null. So if this is true, if this is not true, uh, or you're using the older version, uh, the null and undefined could be assigned to any values. I think uh, the the Dart actually has this problem too uh, before uh, in the previous times. Okay, now we have this flag to make it strict. So now you cannot assign null and undefined to any other uh, types. Say here, string or type, uh, you could assign a null or a string, but you cannot uh, set undefined. Obviously, you cannot assign null to string also. Optional parameters. Well, this is a... Yeah, it means it could be undefined, right? <laughs> Nothing special. And the type assertions. Well, this is a nullish cleansing parameter, uh, operator. If this is null or undefined, we use default. So pretty cool. And uh, this is the assertion type assertion operator. Uh, when an op, when a type is could be undefined. We should use if, right, if clause to filter out the undefined or null case. But if you are sure you are what doing, you could use this exclamation mark uh, to say it is not null and not undefined. Well, this is actually, it certainly means that there are something wrong with your code. Uh, but, uh, you know, for some DOM APIs, the already returns a null uh, with this nullable data. Like the get canvas context or get DOM or anything. For that case, maybe I think it is acceptable to use this type of assertion operator. Okay, next one type ADSS. Uh, use type. Yeah, I prefer type. Uh, this is a uh, this is a comparison between the interface and type. Uh, basically, they are the basically they are the same, and I prefer to use type because it's just simpler. And we could use the type union stuff, intersection stuff to make more interesting, uh, interesting combinations, right? But there are something that that the type cannot do, which is that uh, we could define uh, different interfaces, like multiple interfaces with the same name, and they will be combined uh, together, which means they are uh, extendable, but type cannot. This is wrong. Okay. And uh, enum member types, polymorphic these types. Um, I don't know what it is talking about. It's just just a, a take a look at the example. So this is a basic calculator. Return this right. This is often used in the jQuery like uh, the chaining myth, method chaining. Add multiply. Return this. 
Let's uh, open this example to see. Uh, return. Actually, you see the return type is this, which means actually re meaning to the instance, right? And we could ex extend this uh, basic class and create a new one. So scientific calculator, it should return the instance of this scientific calculator multiple and return this instance all the way along. So return this, it doesn't mean a specific type, but, but uh, it, it is the instance. So the keyword is this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and uh, some uh, below this part, it begins the index types. And it became so interesting and so complicated. I would like to uh, uh, record it in another video. Um, okay, so that's the end for this one. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye-bye.